Punjab on Wednesday took a major leap, uh, digital leap that is, forward with the statewide launch of its 92 crore Punjab smartphone connect scheme by the Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh. The CM personally handed over smartphones to six of class 12 students in a symbolic gesture and simultaneously distribution of phones was done at 26 places by various ministers and MLAs and others across the state to kickstart the scheme. Now, each minister personally handed over 20 phones in various districts to mark the launch, which uh, is the fulfillment of another major poll promise for the Congress government in the state. Now, Ghazali joins us for more on this. Ghazali, this visual is quite interesting, but what exactly is the criteria of giving out the phones and how many students will it eventually reach? Yeah, in the first phase, it has been decided that the class 12th students of all the government schools, mostly girls, are eligible for this scheme because it was the major poll prank of the Captain Amrinder Singh government. Before coming to power, he had even asked the youths to fill up forms, send their details. So exact criteria have not been announced yet, but the priority is to first fulfill uh, or to distribute phones to the students studying in government schools and it could not have come at a better time when we see there is network problem and many families don't have smartphones in, in rural areas while online classes are going on. Other than that, there is a hard burn between the MLAs, among the Congress MLAs because the distribution took place and it was done by CM in Chandigarh and other rest of the 26 locations in the state uh, where local uh, cabinet ministers from their regions distributed the phone. So MLAs thought that they would have been in a better position to distribute it in their constituencies. Other than that, uh, a budget has been allocated by November 2020. Uh, more than 17,000 students will be given this uh, smartphones and after that, uh, in a phased-wise manner, the government will try to cover most of the students in government schools uh, where the smartphones will be distributed. Sonal. But what about internet connectivity? Because Ghazali, that's going to be key. Students can't get on or make the most benefit of these smartphones unless there is internet. That, that, that factor has not been discussed or touched upon by the government because they feel that most of the families or the students who are availing these smartphones can still avail a SIM card or the 3G connectivity available in the state. So that has not been touched upon, but we have seen how in one of the districts uh, two months ago, a girl had committed suicide because she could not afford the smartphone or even a TV in her house. So the government has also conducted a survey in the state to see that how many families are there which can't even afford uh, a smartphone or a smart TV or a TV or any electronic gadget. So the government is also working on that platform. This is the first step to distribute smartphones. And the ministers we spoke to say that they're also working on that front to ensure that they have internet connectivity to use these phones and access online classes.